Hey guys, it's Julie from Living Large on Lifetime and welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do another plan with me video today in my trusty passion planner. It's a new month. Today is July 1st and I'm going to do next week, which is the first week of July and July 4th, Independence Day, all kinds of fun stuff. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here's my spread for this coming week. This is the 4th of July week. It's pretty empty. I have just a few things written already um, that I know I need to do and not forget. And then I also have this post-it list of weekly things that I want to try and incorporate every single week. So that's on a post-it so I don't forget. But overall, very, very blank. It's a blank slate. So what I do first after I put all the stickers on the page, before I start writing anything, I usually turn to my previous week's page, which is this page. And actually I'm still on this week because today is Saturday. Um, but I will turn to my previous week's page and look at this section here, which is the good things that happened. So every week I try to write at least two to three good things that happen for this week so that I can look back over the weeks and every week I can see all of the wonderful things that happen in my life. There's always good things that happen and sometimes we just need to try and find them. So I always look back over to the previous week and write my good things that happened and then I will start writing on the current week. So there's my blank slate for this week. And now onto the stickers. So when I did this week here, I used um, some tattoos and different, some glue and some different things from the dollar store. I decided I wanted to use a lot of different media besides just stickers all the time. However, <laughs> This week is kind of a no-brainer because it's Independence Day. It's July 4th week, so I already have these holiday stickers from Planner Penny. So I'm going to pretty much just use stickers this week. So these are the stickers that I have left after I already did my monthly spread. Um, so with Planner Penny, I just I love her little faces. They're just they're super cute. So I'm going to try to utilize as many of these stickers as I can on my page and still leave room to write because I'm a functional planner, so I seriously need the room to write and use my planner as a planner is meant to. But I'm gonna try and use as many of these as possible because I'm not gonna have a chance to use them again for quite a while. So um, these are the stickers I'm using this week from Planner Penny, and I'm going to try and also stick to these colors. So I have a few other stickers picked out, and if the colors clash too much, I may not use them. Um, but I do have some of my regular stickers that I've picked out to use as well. Uh, not this cleaning day, because I'm not cleaning this week. Ignore that one. Okay, so here are my nail polish stickers, and I don't see any red, white, or blue, so I am not sure if I'll use one of these this week, but I've been trying to paint my nails on Wednesday or Thursday. It's just easier to do it smack in the middle of the week rather than try to cram everything in on the weekends. And also because I now work, I work one job during the week and one job on the weekends, my nails can kind of look fresh for part of my weekly job and then they look good for my weekend job, if that makes sense. So those are my nail polish stickers, which I use pretty much every week. These are my habit trackers. And the only thing I really use these for is to track my 30 smart point days, um, which have actually not been going very well lately. If we look to this week's, I have, oops, I have zero 30 smart point days. But you know what, I continue to use the trackers, write it down, if it's in my face, then hopefully I will have a better chance of trying and succeeding. So I'll probably use this red habit tracker to track my 30 smart point days. I have one sticker left for movie night. These are super cute. It's purple, but I'll probably still use it anyway because I think these are super cute. These are from Purple Paisley Prints. And then I will use one of these scales for, actually I'm not going to weigh in officially this week because Weight Watchers is closed on my weigh-in day, which is July 4th, but I, I'll probably still use a scale because I'll probably weigh in at home. So I'll think about that one. These are my favorite grocery stickers. I just love the grocery bag. These are from Simple Southern Mommy. So I need to order them, but I only like want to order like one or two of her stickers right now. And it's just, it's so expensive with shipping. So I've been postponing that, but I will use that to write out my grocery list. 
And then coffee. I love these coffee stickers. These are from Paisley Prints Company. And I only get coffee once per week right now. And that is just before my Weight Watchers meeting on Saturday morning. So that's where that sticker will go. And then we have all these random, these are the cheapo stickers that I got off of Amazon. So these are the ones I may or may not use because some of the colors, I mean, they're just super cheap stickers. I just, I kind of just want to use them up, but if the colors look terrible, then I won't. So there's a 4th of July sticker on that page that I wanted to use. Um, my workout stickers, I am not running at all this week because of my eye surgeries, so I'm trying to, I found that I can really only walk like four miles a day without being totally exhausted and annoyed with the time that it takes. So I'll probably put these on the pages hopefully and just try to schedule a four mile walk or a walk of some sort. Um, on this page I was thinking about using these cook stickers for my meal planning and the shop stickers for my grocery shopping. And then these stickers, I'm going to use a couple of these doctor visits for my eye doctor visits this week. So those are the stickers I'm using this week, guys. I also had one washi picked out, this blue washi. It's like a navy blue. I don't know if I'll actually use it because I'm not sure I'll need it with all of these holiday stickers. They seem to have a lot of good washi here. So I may not use the navy blue washi, but I pulled it out just in case. So that's it guys. That's what I'm using for stickers for this week. So let's get started. Okay, and here is the finished layout for this week, the week of July 3rd through July 9th. I won't lie, you guys, this kind of makes me a little nervous. I'm feeling a little bit of anxiety. This looks like a really busy week. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm trying to write down everything that is crammed in my brain. If I write it down, I can hopefully remember it and kind of let it go um, but it just looks super duper busy it's probably not because first of all I get two days off um, Monday and Tuesday and then on Saturday and Sunday we're leaving for Vegas so it's probably not going to be as bad as it looks but it's giving me a bit of anxiety so let's start with last week so first of all let's go to the good things that happened. I wanted to write three things this week, three good things that happened. First and foremost was my cataract surgery. Yay! It was super creepy, but the end result was super awesome. And then I also had a short work week because of the surgery, and we went to Disney. We had not one, but two days of Disney fun because we went the day after my surgery, and we're also going tomorrow. So, Disney fun. Yay. Okay. Here's this week, you guys. <sighs> okay. Breathe, Julie. It's going to be fine. So first of all, I've got my 30 smart point days. Hopefully I can get at least a few this week. I've been terrible this week. I haven't been splurging or going crazy Nazi weird on points. Um, I haven't had a ton of points, but I haven't been at 30 point days either, so I need to work on that. Here's my good things section, um, which I'll fill out later. I have my eye surgery on Monday, but it's actually in the afternoon, so before that, I have a workout sticker. I'm hoping to get in a walk before I have to go for surgery. Um, and then Tuesday is, of course, the 4th of July. I have a video I need to post. I have a post-op appointment 
And then this is the day I want to do my grocery shopping, my meal prep, get my work clothes together, change the litter box, you know, stuff that I would normally do on a Sunday. I want to try and get done on this day because then I have to work on Wednesday. So this is what I want to do for July 4th. We actually don't really have any plans, so um, not that I know of. And then I also need to try and get in a good walk on that day as well. Wednesday I will just be at work so this is like super blank. I'm going to write um, my to-dos for work and my personal to-dos here. A reminder to, to work out which is basically just a walk at this point. And then paint my nails and sweep the floor. Um, Thursday is just more of the same. It's a work, a work day, but I also want to start my packing list here. So, um, I need to write a list of the things I need to pack to take to Vegas and then, um, some miscellaneous things to do and a couple little shopping thing, a little bit of shopping that I need to, to look into online shopping. And then a reminder to get that walk in Friday. Yay, Fridays. Friday I have a couple things to do in the morning and then the work day I need to work out again, which is another walk day. And then hopefully we're going to check out a Mexican restaurant in Burbank that we've already been to, but Eddie really likes, he likes the atmosphere and he likes that there's a live band. So I wanna take him there on Friday night for a little date. And then Saturday I have to work at Weight Watchers. So I forgot to put that in here. I actually need to write in that I'm working a meeting at Weight Watchers. I did not forget my coffee though, so got the coffee, need to write the meeting. Um, and then this is a leaving for Las Vegas banner. And then I just have our flight times, our hotel information. And then Sunday is a blank slate, except I know we are going to brunch at the Red Rock Casino. I'm super excited for that and then hopefully I think we're gonna like try to fit in a massage on this day and just hang out by the pool so um, on the bottom here is all my miscellaneous stuff so I only need to meal prep for three days this week so I had extra room for that so that was awesome so this is my meal prep my meal planning for Wednesday Thursday and Friday at work it just shows my breakfast lunch and snack guys I need some zero point snack ideas because all I've got is fruit. I mean, I try to keep my days at six points before I get home for dinner. Um, so it's, it kind of limits me. If you guys have any good zero point snack ideas besides fruit or vegetables, or even if you have some really good fruit or vegetable ideas, please let me know. I need some ideas for that. And then over here I have my regular, the groceries that I need to buy the videos that I need to film, and a few dinner ideas of things that I need to use out of the freezer. So that's it, you guys. That's my week next week. Oh my gosh, don't stalk me, please. <laughs> um, but if you want to know what I'm doing and where I'm going to be, here you go. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys. I know I love watching planner videos because I get a lot of great ideas. So if you have any suggestions for me, or if you just want to start a conversation, please post below. I love to interact with my viewers and thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next week.